Hi, I'm Cassie Gutierrez, a senior at Harrington High School South. And I'm Nikki Garcia, also a senior from Harrington High School South. And, and welcome, welcome to Inside HCISD. We have some interesting stories today. So let's dive right in. The Ghana Freshman Academy has an event called Gear Up. It helps students find their career pathway they might be interested in. Here's Sabrina with more on that story. Here at the Kano Freshman Academy, a special event, Gear Up, took place in their gym. Gear Up is a showcase that helps you get ready and discover new careers you may like or pursue in the future. The showcase that we are taking today in this event, I think is going to really help with uh, what we want to pursue in our jobs and lives for careers. I think it's very good. My most interesting station was the audio and the cameras because it's, it's really cool how I get to learn about a camera. They give out helpful advice and information to the students and explain from their experience what it's like to be in that job and opportunity that they took. This is a great opportunity for students barely starting high school so they can learn earlier in what they like to study and what interests them. I, I feel like this showcase is going to be really helpful for like finding for people to find like new careers. Uh, like the computers and stuff is giving me an idea of like doing like computer engineering. This gives them a better understanding of the many job opportunities there are in the world. Reporting from Inside HCISD, I'm Sabrina Lugo. Wow, did you see all the options they had? Yes, it sure looked like a lot of fun. Our next story is about the new dual language program located at Vernon Middle School. They have a live stream teacher from China that teaches many languages from all around the world. Here's Bethany with more information. Dual language is a program that helps the students academically get into better colleges around the world. This is Vernon's um, first year that we're having this and kids actually apply into the program which is really great and many of them are taking two languages at the same time. Aside from taking all their core classes, their academic classes, they're able to take that. And so it's, it's a new program and I guess the kids are really excited. It's very innovative and so we're hoping to change that and that we will actually be able to have more students enroll in our program. Because of this program, it has allowed students to think open-mindedly about different cultures and helps them more understand new things. They offer languages such as sign language, Mandarin, Chinese, Spanish, and French. They are working on getting students certified in the languages they are offering. Well, the benefit of learning another language is definitely better cognitive abilities, better memory we develop better um, understanding, comprehension of other people. The Chinese program at Vernon has an online streaming classroom from China. A teacher from China will then give the students a 25-minute lesson in Chinese and also classroom management. I think the language, the more language, the better, right? Uh, so if you know, if you can speak more than one languages, it will open up more doors. For your future. Vernon Middle School continues to help their students prepare for the future by providing them with six different languages. Reporting for Inside HCISD, I am Bethany Galvan. Do you know any other languages, Cassie? See, si. Anything else? No. Anyways, our next story is about the new conservatory at the Performing Arts Center. The students there are taught how to be in the arts of performing. Here's Evelyn with more on that story. The conservatory is a new program for the HCISD school district helping any students who wants to be a dancer, an actor, or be on a tech crew for a Broadway stage. Right now, the conservatory is working on a play called In the Heights. I asked the three leading roles why did they try out for the conservatory, and here are their answers. I guess the reason why I tried out for the conservatory was because I want to use the proper tools as well as my talent to perform and have it be my career for as long as possible. The reason I auditioned for the conservatory is to attain a BFA in musical theater or theater and possibly pursue a career. I auditioned for the conservatory because it was a great opportunity and it is the only performing arts school in the valley. If you want to be a part of the conservatory family and for more information, visit the website at www.hcisdpa.org. 
I'm Evelyn Santillan, reporting for Inside HERSD. I always wanted to be a singer. Well, why can't you? I don't have the singing part down. Our final story is about the new remodeling at Vernon Middle School. Here's Martin with more information on the story. Vernon Middle School World Languages Academy has gone through a total remodel of the exterior and interior sides of the building in order to reestablish the school's identity. Mrs. Tamez has worked with the staff in order to make that a possibility. So here at Vernon World Languages Academy, we've had uh, different remodeling stages happening, and which includes the interior remodeling, and we had our World Languages Academy unit, uh, new wall, uh, paint on the walls, new floor tile, um, new signage for our World Languages Academy opening up for the 1920 school year. In addition to that, we also are in the process of updating our international conference room where we're going to have a wall of, of a screens so that our students can interact with other students around the country. As much as it's noticeable from the front view that the remodel is in full effect, the interior of the school has gone through some major changes as well. So the remodeling is taking uh, place in phases and so we were excited about the interior remodeling happening inside the campus. Uh, we started first with the uh, ILC, our library, where we updated the floors, the walls, and put some designs in there. The school has also put up banners designed for a more cultural universal feel, designed with flags from countries all across the world that the children in Vernon would learn from. So here at Vernon, um, it's a very busy time in the morning and after school with our traffic. And it's really just the layout of where our campus sits in this very busy street here. So later on, we're going to be um, researching and seeing what can be done for the congestion that's in front of the school. Reporting for HCISD, I'm Martin Perez. I can't wait to see the outcome of how it looks. Me too. Well, that's all we have for Inside HCISD. I'm Nikki Garcia. And I'm Cassie Gutierrez. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching.